spray, bitch. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. I used to get them just to style on them and flash holes. And over the years, I done acquired mad souls. Had niggas like, damn, Dave, how long you had those? <laughs> Welcome back. And you know who this is. Where I'm from? Hey. <laughs> yeah. Spit that type of shit that make your fucking heart beat stop. Killing niggas dead. Smoking on that shit that keep me. What? What? <laughs> Hey, man, it's your boy Detroit Dave, man. I'm just excited. I used to spit, man. Back when I was uh, writing, I used to spit. And y'all know what this is, man. Y'all know why I'm doing this. You hear the mixtape in the background. It's available if you want to listen to it. I'm not charging you nothing. Just listen to it, man. The shit was fire. And this shit was written almost 10 years ago. Straight up. That's why all the beats old. But y'all know what this is, man. Detroit Dave presents the Air the Air Jordan Twenties reshoot. Now, I prided myself on being a collector for quite a bit of time, and I wanted to have one at least one piece from every model out of the whole collection, like from one to twenty three. I wanted to have at least one. And I succeeded in doing that for quite a amount of years. Uh, but then I sold my 19s and then I sold my 20s. So with this being the 20s, that's why. And when I did a teenager reshoot, I stopped at 18 because I no longer had a 19s. Um, and in this video, I no longer had a 20s. But just because this is what I do, I'm going to go ahead and throw something in there for you right now. Don't even get me started on the 23 packages The kicks is quite nice, but my swag is miraculous The 20s feature in that lazy cut precision Or the 20 buzz brought on a brand new vision 22s took that vision and built on top of that The 23s dropped and I'm like, yo, I'm copping that Success too, the fame and fortune is what makes people respect you But getting bread is only part of what success do Uh, yeah, I, I used to spit. So you saw the twenties, um, but we gonna start the video off right now by getting into the countdown package, Air Jordan Twenty One. Um, and there you see the twenty one right there on the side. And this is the only pair of twenty ones I ever bought. Came with the little interchangeable pods and a little Jordan bag, so I thought that was pretty dope. Since we're doing the video, I'm going to go ahead and pull the pod out for you. Holla at your bitch. Because when she polished my dick, that bitch acknowledged that shit. A couple of dollars from Rich and the Impala is sick. We see you balling in it. You see you following it. We much too hard for your click. That's why your broad in this bitch. <laughs> you call her this shit. She yeah, you hollering, prick. She about to call you a shit when she done swallowing dick. <laughs> Detroit Day, nigga. Yo, I used to spit, bro. I used to spit, man. But anyway, next song I'm about to tell you where I'm from. So here you have the bread 21s. I think I wore the sneaker twice. Pretty cool sneaker. It's all right. I actually got a dog ass um. I got a dope um hoodie that matches it too. I'm oh, from the D bitch. That tongue look heavily padded, don't it? I, I I wore these last time I wore these. I was in college and I graduated in 2014, so I I don't even remember how they feel or nothing. They cool though. I mean, they not my favorite model, but you know they they cool. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, what I do like about the 21s is they got this little, like, change pocket right here. If uh, if y'all my age or older, then y'all remember uh, kangaroos, the boots that had the little where you could put change right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a little pocket. And then it stops right here by the jump, man. So, you know, you can put your key. If you out going to ball or something, you got a house key or some change or, you know, a condom, whatever, you know, crack, whatever you want. I don't know how you live your life, but however you do it, the 21's got something for you. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, they're a cool sneaker. I'm not mad at them. I'm not going to say they're ugly, but they definitely not my favorites. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, as I mentioned in my Reflections video, all the countdown pack joints got the strip in it. And uh, I really like that. 19, what did it say? 1985 to 2008, because that's when all the packs came out. So, yeah. Bread Air Jordan 21s. Air Jordan 22s. These have been in videos before. I was trying to sell them for a while, but I decided to keep them because I actually really do like the sneaker. I think these fire, man. So I decided to go ahead and hang on to them. This box is a little difficult to open. But the Omega 22s, I rock these shits. They so dope on foot. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and throw you on foot while I'm getting this together. And now we back. You seen how they look on foot? Air Jordan 22s. I like them, man. I like the 22s. They also got the interchangeable pods as well. And since I pulled the other pies out, I might as well pull these pies out. They cool because it's like a little section right in the side of the box for them to just fit right in. You know what I'm saying? Pull them in. Put, put them in. Pull them out. You know what I'm saying? I always thought that was kind of dope. Uh, So, yeah. Those pies right here in the back. At Kobo Hall. As you can see, the Zoom AirPods are in right now. And this is just a regular AirPod. <laughs> Mash on the gas as you pass the Renaissance. So yeah, man, Air Jordan 22. This is the Omega release, 2007. It came out um, as part of a pack, the Alpha Omega pack with the uh, Alpha Ones. And um, like I said, I just, from the toe box, you know what I'm saying? Just the look of them, man. These shits is dope. I think I might like these the most out of all of my 20 models. Yeah, these shits are, man. I'm from the D. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. He got the picture of him hitting the last shot. Hence Omega, because you know that's the final. Um, stitching. Just looks good. I like this area on the back. I don't know. I just like them, man. My favorite part is probably the toe box, though. That toe box looks good to me, man. I like that. Air Jordan 22. Moving right along. I had Stealth 23s, but I sold them. And so now, I got the white and reds. But these, the highs, though, they was kind of limited. Um, and I also got the t-shirt to match them, too. But I ain't pull the t-shirt out. I wonder if I took the DVD out. Did I? Nope, DVD's still right there. I like how I got the 23. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. It got like the 23 stitching from the side of the shoe. It got it like embossed in the paper, which I thought was dope, along with his thumbprint, so to speak, you know. I think they said it was altered for whatever reason. Right to the nines. From the grind right to the dimes. Right from the entrance, you could tell we love to shine. But anyway, so uh, yeah, this is the pair that I wore. Like I said, I got the matching t-shirt. These, from what I remember, these were not in stores. I had to order these. Um, I do like the toe box on these, though. I wish I had them titaniums. And what's crazy is down here in Atlanta, in Atlanta Walters was one of the stores that got them. They also received the uh, Satin Royals down here as well. And um, I went to go get them, but I wasn't used to camping out at that point in my life. 
And um, I got there too late, man. And it was already, you know, it was only 23 pairs and 23 stores. And by the time I got there, it was already 27 people in line. So I decided to leave. I wish I'd have got those. Yeah, man. But these are the uh, the Cherry High 23s. Most people, the reason why I keep saying high is because the ones that was in stores was the lows. And so a lot of times when you say white and red 23s, people might think of the lows. But nah, these uh, highs right here, they cool. You know what I'm saying? They all right. Variation of his uh, thumbprint right there. And the big thing about this was it was supposed to be uh, like extremely environmental. So it was like the no use of glues or whatever. But I don't understand how they got this this panel right here on the the lower part without glue. Like how can you do that without glue? I don't understand. But on the DVD they said it was no, used with no glue. It was like supposed to be an environmental thing back in 08 when them dropped. So there you go. Air Jordan 23. Now, this one was once when they stopped doing numbers. Um, they stopped calling them, you know, 20 whatever. Uh, and they just started going by the year. I wish I wish it would focus, man. I wonder why it's not focusing for y'all. There we go. And so, as you can see on this box, Air Jordan 2009. Uh, I refer to it as the 24. You know what I'm saying? The first color was white. And this was the next color. Now, I do like how the box kind of stands up on its own. And it comes, once again, it comes with like a little note on there for us. I actually like this sneaker, man. These shits is actually kind of dope to me. Uh, they kind of look like bowling shoes. But they have a very, very high quality. Um, and this box is like, it's weird. It's like a trapezoid, man, almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, the box is weird. But, uh. You know, and then here you go again with the trapezoid. Um, I like them, man. They got nice material. They got a nice satin right here on the side. As you can see, I wore these shits. But they kind of look like a bowling shoe, man. Especially with this little, like, high heel shit going on right here. And if y'all never knew, because I know y'all probably seen this poster in the video before. If y'all never knew what the fuck that was. Well, now you know. It's the bottom of the year Jordan 2009. I got that poster for free when I was working at a uh, Foot Locker. So yeah, man, it's a decent shoe. I mean, stylistically, is not is not favorable to a lot of people. I understand. Um, it's got the little. I think cause this was. I think this one was inspired by a vehicle as well. So it's got like the little uh, the little grate right there going up the tongue. Nice jump man. The jump man is laser etched into the tongue. Uh, very high quality, shiny leather, uh, which is another reason why it reminds me of a bowling sneaker. I mean, a bowling shoe. Um, you know, but I like them though. I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna front. I do like them. They got nice laces in them. They not like the regular laces. You know what I'm saying? These laces are like, uh, they kind of thick, you know what I'm saying? Almost like a ribbon. Or not like a ribbon, like yarn. I meant to say they feel like yarn. You know what I'm saying? And they got, uh, I like what they did with the tips. Nice little metal tips. And they got a jump man on it. For some reason, my phone is nonsensing on the focus, man. I don't understand why it's doing that. Uh, oh well, just take my word for it. Hoes been told and shit, no, not to piss the kid off. So there you have the Air Jordan 24. Now I initially titled this the early 20s, just because um, after the 24 or the 2009, I stopped collecting them. Um, I did like the 2010 model. That was the one that um, technically is the Air Jordan 25. It was the one with the little window on the side and um, Dwayne Wade was uh endorsing them he was on the heat he had the white black and red pair and they had an anniversary pair that i thought was dope um that was like all silver them shits was kind of nice but i never got them and then the air jordan 2011 was uh 
was a nice sneaker. It was okay. They had like a couple of different colors from the Jordan brand classics. So if you ever look up the Air Jordan 26 or the Air Jordan 2011, you'll see the Jordan brand classics. They had like a black and blue pair, black and red pair. Um, in stores, they had a white and red pair, a white and black pair. I think they had a white and light royal or French blue pair as well. Those was cool. Never fucked with them. The next model, the twenty, uh, the twenty twelve was fucking trash, terrible. Like that's the weak, that's the weakest Jordan they ever created. Um, and then the twenty eight was nice. The super high cuts didn't like those. And then here we go here, the Air Jordan two thousand nines. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Air Jordan twenty nines. Now, this sneaker, I didn't really want to buy it because it was two thirty, and I really didn't want to pay two thirty for it. So I ended up passing on them. Uh, this was the only color that I really wanted. The uh, Team Orange pair. The first one with the Jumbo Jumpman on the side. This was the only one that I liked. And I waited and I actually got them out the local group for 60 bucks. Only thing I don't like is they yellow terrible though. Like even when I clean my soles, you know what I'm saying? They still yellow terribly. But they was worn. I got them for the hot 60. It really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? They beaters, now. Nah, I've, I've camped out in these, all type of shit. So I don't really rock them like that no more. But um, I will, you know, I'll throw them on. Just because that Jumbo Jumpman, I just thought that was so dope how it looked like the Jumpman is like jumping off the shoe, is super big. Um, I just like it, man. I like the way that looks. And so, like I said, they not, they not my favorite. They nowhere near my favorite, nowhere near. But you know, it's not a bad shoe, man. Like I said, that Jumbo Jumpman, man, that's what did it for me. So, you know, a good hooping sneaker or actually not even really a good hooping sneaker because these shits are thin as fuck at the bottom. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it provides that support that, uh, that one might want. But yeah, man. So this is the reshoot of all my 20s. And I wanted to go ahead and get this uh, video out to y'all. Um, and I'm excited because I get to start all over from the beginning. So now we doing double reshoots. Because y'all got to get, listen man. Y'all got to get up on this Air Jordan 1 collection bro. Like the Air Jordan 1 collection now is better than all of the ones that I had before. So I mean I've added DB ones. I've added fucking fragment ones. I've added real bands as you can see with the x so i'm excited to get that reshoot out that reshoot is going to be coming out next year i got a different video i'm gonna drop for you next month for december um so yeah that air jordan one reshoot is going to come out next year um sometime probably in february uh because in january you know i stacked the channel in january you are you already know if you don't know and you new to the channel then um, I definitely appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just to give you a little insight, I do a video a month. I just recently started a new series that I do a video a week now. It's called Reflections. People love it. Um, and so in January, I drop three main videos. I drop um, I drop my sneaker of the year, sneaker year in review, sneaker of the year video. Uh, I drop my top ten releases. And I drop my top 10 pickups. And then, of course, you know I got fourth quarter cops as well um, that comes in. So, uh, you know, so I got all the stuff that I picked up in the fourth quarter. Um, this year I didn't do a third quarter because I didn't buy nothing in the third quarter. But I have picked up some sneakers. Um, so, you know, we're going to get into that. Um, like I said, I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you liked the video. Just give me that thumbs up, man. Um, share this video if you like it, you know what I'm saying? Or if you like some of my other ones, you know, just to let other people know what we got going on. And if you check out some other videos and you like what I'm doing and just hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. That way, you know, everything I'm doing first, you get the notifications and all that. Um, so yeah, man, this has been the Air Jordan twenties reshoot. And, um, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I like to give you something around holidays so you can sit down and really enjoy it before the holiday because normally you off work or you out of school, whatever. 
And um, pre-orders, man. Um, I'm still taking wheat Air Jordan uh, Air Jordan One high OG orders. Um, you might be able to squeeze a Beluga order in with me right now, um, cause I gotta, you know, you might be able to squeeze one, but you gotta hit me up right now at six seven eight eight three zero six six nine zero, and that's how you order. You can always uh, hit me on the IG too, and that's at D T R O Y T underscore. D-A-V-E. I appreciate y'all, man. Coming right back next week with Reflections. Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. And I appreciate y'all, man. This has been your boy. And he gonna really be sick when we hear about how Detroit put the hottest record of the year around. But anyway, I'm about to step in here and grab a drink. And you can get one too. Tell me what do you think? High heels match a dress and they both was pink. Plus a body was stick and soft. That's how very and me. You niggas mad cause it's difficult not to. But you haters hate.